Apple CarPlay is a fantastic addition to your BMW, but what about when you're having problems with it and it doesn't work? Well, Beamer Tech is here to help solve those issues. Hmm, I'm not sure I understand. We know, Siri. We know. Apple CarPlay is a problem solver in so many ways and probably one of the best creature comforts you could have in your BMW. That being said, when it doesn't work, it can be pretty frustrating. And that is what this video is all about. But before we go any further, a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Our support team won't be able to help you if you've activated Apple CarPlay at a BMW dealership or through a third party provider. This video is gonna be divided into chapters to help you find the topic you're looking for. This is what's on the menu for today, so let's get started. First off, how can you get Apple CarPlay in your BMW with Beamer Tech? Well, we have two ways. One would be coding, where we can activate Apple CarPlay in your BMW if it was a factory option. Now, since this applies to only a limited amount of BMWs, our other option would be our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime, which is a physical device that plugs into your BMW to allow Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, camera integration, screen mirroring, and so much more. For more information on both of these devices, click the links in the description. Problems with CarPlay may arise due to a number of factors. These can include an outdated iOS version, improperly paired phone, improperly installed Wi-Fi antenna, muted apps, or a faulty USB cable. Now that you know what might cause some of the problems, let's get into what some of the problems are you may be facing and some common ways on how to fix them. The worst problem would be that CarPlay doesn't connect at all, so let's make sure you're trying to do it the right way. For this, we'll be using this BMW G01 with ID7. For ID6 instructions and how to connect your phone to our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto MMI Prime, well, check the description for those links. Make sure Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Siri toggle buttons are switched on in the settings of your iPhone. On your iDrive screen, head to Com, Mobile Devices, then Settings, and then check the boxes for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Apple CarPlay. After that, go to New Device, then Phone Calls and Audio. Back on your phone, go to Settings, General, CarPlay, and select your BMW PIN from the menu. Once your phone starts to pair, you'll be prompted to confirm the PIN, Bluetooth, and other requests on your phone and iDrive screen. Finally, on your iDrive screen, choose the option to connect to Apple CarPlay and the setup will be complete. Once you're done, restart both your phone and your BMW and make sure Siri is enabled as well. If you can't enable CarPlay because the option is not showing up on your phone, you may have some restrictions. So on your phone, go to Settings, Screen Time, Content and Privacy Restrictions, and then tap Allowed Apps and Enable CarPlay. If you can't get your Apple Music to work, let's first find out what might be causing the issue. Disconnect CarPlay from your BMW and play some music through your BMW speakers with using something like the radio. If you hear music, you're good. Now play some music through your phone. If you could hear music coming through your phone speakers, well, you're good there as well. But if you fail to hear audio, once you reconnect Apple CarPlay to your BMW, well, your phone might actually be muting Apple Music or your whole phone in general. So mess around with your phone settings to figure out what might be causing that issue. Having a touchscreen makes things so much easier. However, it's a pain when it doesn't work. First off, make sure that your iDrive screen is actually a touchscreen. After that, do a hard restart on your phone. Now how you do this is gonna differ depending on which generation iPhone you have. So for more information on that, check out our blog, link in the description. You'll also wanna make sure your phone's iOS version is up to date, and if not, that you update it. You also might have to pair your phone again, so enter your phone's settings and remove your BMW ID from the CarPlay devices list and pair it once more. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Sorry, is there something else I can help with? Having your microphones not work is not fun. Thankfully, fixing them is pretty straightforward. Let's first start by testing the mics in your BMW using BMW Assistant or other iDrive features. If that works, go to your iPhone settings and see if it's automatically muting the microphone when connecting the CarPlay. Also, check the Siri and search settings to make sure that Siri is enabled. If all that checks out, you're gonna wanna do a hard restart on your phone like we talked about before. You'll also want to make sure that your phone's iOS is up to date. If not, update it. 
Also, like before, let's try repairing it. Remove your BMW ID from your CarPlay menu on your phone and go through the process again. This isn't the right place. Are your navigational apps like Google Maps, Apple Maps, or Waze not working? Well, if you're having the same issue with all three, it's probably not an app issue. You'll also want to make sure that your location services on your phone are turned on, verify that you have the correct date and time, make sure that cellular data or Wi-Fi is turned on and you have an active connection, and finally, restart the apps. It's always good to make sure that your phone is up to date because certain apps require certain iOS versions. In today's world, no one likes wires, and that goes for your CarPlay experience in your BMW as well. So if it's not working, it could be a pain. First step is to plug in your phone and see if that works. If it does, you'll know it's not a problem with CarPlay itself. If it works, try going through the process of doing a hard restart on your phone and go through the pairing process again with your BMW. If you're going to use more than one phone, you're going to need to make sure that your phones are named something different. You could change the name of your phone by going to Settings, General, Device, and Name. And once you change the name, you're going to need to go through the pairing process again. If you're still having issues with your phone, but another phone that's paired up is working well, well then you might be having issues with just your phone. For more information on this topic, check out our blog link in the description for a full list of compatible phones. If you no longer want to use CarPlay in your BMW, in your phone settings, go to General, CarPlay, tap your vehicle ID and hit Forget This Car. Now it's turned off until you repair it. So there you have it. Those are the troubleshooting steps to take if you find Apple CarPlay not working in your BMW. If you found this video helpful, well, stick around and subscribe for more installs, product reviews, and so much more on BMWs, Minis, and Supras. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.